Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Yuyan. So today I'm going to be doing a hair tutorial. Um, it's going to be on this kind of messy, imperfect, beachy waves. I think it's perfect to wear in the summertime and it's just very effortless and easy to do. It takes me about less than 10 minutes and um, I only use a few products. So yeah, if you want to know how I got this soft, beachy curls, then please just keep on watching. Okay, so this is the curler that I use. It's from bedhead and i got it from amazon and it was like less than 20 dollars so i'm just waiting for it to heat up and in the meantime i'm just gonna put this on this is the tresme heat protection and it's up to 450 degrees i don't always put this on but i know you're supposed to but sometimes i get really lazy but i'm just gonna spray this on just to like protect it from the heat but yeah most of the time i don't and I'm just gonna wait for that to dry and it just smells really good and makes your hair feel softer in case you are wondering i do use the living proof perfect hair day shampoo and conditioner and i feel like this really has improved my hair a lot since i do color it um at least two or three times a year and i go tone it and everything it does get damaged and with all the heat this is sulfate free and parabens free and i just use a little bit and it goes a really long way so this is pretty hot now and i know you're supposed to section off your hair but usually don't have that much time so i just kind of go by like the little sections with the shorter layers and um i just wrap it around Ever since I cut my hair shorter, I did buy the one inch barrel because the one and a half was just too big and um, it wasn't making the curls that I wanted. After I wrap it, I just literally put it on for like less than five seconds and then I just let it go. And here, I'll do it again. And I leave the very tip out um, because I do want that more beachy look. And that is what it's supposed to look like. Um, it's supposed to be very like imperfect, so don't worry about making the curls the same. Just leaving the very ends out and letting it go. Not putting it on the barrel for too long. Okay, and this is what it looks like. And then afterwards, I will comb it out. But for now, they are going to be a little bit tighter curls. I try to like vary the sections some of them are going to be a lot thicker um and sometimes the thicker ones don't curl the way i want so then i would just separate it yeah, and usually this takes me about 10 minutes or so Actually, my hair is pretty straight um, and I just washed it last night and I either blow dry it or just let it air dry okay so this is pretty much what it looks like for this half of my head and then this side as you can see is just very straight now I'm gonna do this side again I'm gonna show you the front layers because that is a little harder to do and as you can see my hair is um, just long layers, nothing like a definite shape So for the front pieces, they are pretty short compared to the rest They are like just past my chin And just gonna wrap it around the other direction Both ways are going away from my face And the shorter pieces I do leave a shorter time Because it heats up really fast taking different sections of hair and curling it away from my face sometimes I tug it at it a little when I release it um, just so it's not too tight
Okay, and now after I am done curling it, um, I'm just gonna go over it with my hand, just comb it out, just to make the pieces looser and just not as perfect. And after I'm done with that, um, I'm just gonna look at what sections I might have missed. So I do like going up on top here, curling it for a very brief second, letting it go, just kind of grabbing random sections. And this is pretty much what it looks like all curled um, and two products that I really liked using recently is the finishing cream by way and also the texturizing hairspray by way and I really like this for when I want my hair more like voluminous and um, bigger so I'm not gonna use this today I'm just gonna be using the finishing cream and honestly Waze product smells so good I don't know they have like this creamy vanilla floral scent I love it um, so I'm just gonna take a little bit I usually just take about this much I just rub it on my hands and then I just go through my hair with it and just kind of smooth it out. It is called a smoothing cream so it is supposed to just kind of like smooth out all of the flyaways and everything but I find it really good to kind of just give you that more tousled look um, and not have like the curls look so perfect and curled. So yeah, this is like my little trick for a more beachy look and I love it. I think it works really well. It smells amazing i always get compliments on my hair when i um, put the stuff in literally just like smoothing on it and pulling my hair just so it's not so curled you could definitely put in some hairspray even the texturizing spray if your curls don't last that long but usually this lasts me about like three or four days before i wash it again and if anything i just do like a little bit of touch up here and there okay so this is the final look, um, I think it's perfect for like a summer day if you're wearing like um, a nice little sundress or just like very casual. That's what I love about it. You can literally wear it with anything and it's not, it's like very effortless. So yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this hair tutorial, this beachy wave tutorial, and I hope you found it helpful. I just wanted to thank you guys for all the support and love that I got from my last video, um, the casual summer outfits. I didn't think that I was gonna get so many views, so I was so surprised. You guys were so nice and left such nice comments on it and said you loved it and would wanna see more of that. So I definitely will film another one. I'm thinking about doing a summer outfits for a very hot day because a lot of you said that um, you can't wear like layers or any like pieces on top because the summers are so hot where you live so yeah thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys